right, this is going to be a video of the holiday insert pack that we're going to have that will be available for you November 4th, Friday, November 4th. And I'm so excited about this pack because it has so many good things in it and it'll really allow for you to get organized for the holiday. Uh, pretty much anything you can think of is going to be in this pack. So I'm ready. Let's just go ahead and dive right in. So the very first page you see here is the holiday overview page and there's three boxes for you. They're blank but it allows you to be able to just get a vision for what all you have to do. You can decorate it however you want. You can make it really cute. Um, if you have three major events coming up or just if you want to put a whole bunch of bullet points it's really up to you. I'm still trying to decide how I'm going to decorate this page myself but I think it's perfect just to kind of get started. This is the first page of the pack so you can really get creative with this one. On the back you have a lined holiday overview page and this one is another place for you to get creative with what you want to do. I'm thinking about actually using this page to jot down everybody that I want to send holiday cards to and then just kind of marking them off there and if I need to put in their addresses in there there's plenty of space to do that. So that's another page for you to get creative with what you want to do. And then on the next page we have, if you see it's lined right here and you have 1 through 31. So this is basically a running list of what you have coming up for the month of December. So it's a great thing to use in conjunction with your planner. You can have everything right on one page for you to see exactly what it is that you need to do for the holidays. And it allows you to write per day basically. You get a whole line, you can jot it down and then you can use it to match up with your planner later. Behind that is a to-do list and if you're familiar with the list on the shop then this is pretty much the same insert. The only thing different is it says to do up top and I just wanted to make it a little bit more specific for this pack but yes if you're familiar with that it is the exact same list as the list but it says to do. Then on the next page we have our gift section. So the gift section is perfect for if you have co-workers, loved ones, friends, uh, your significant other, your kids, whoever the person is that you need to buy it for, there's plenty of boxes for you to uh, just kind of brainstorm what you want to get them for the holidays and then also you can come up with a budget. Um, so basically you have a place for name, budget, gift ideas and then you can also mark off as you purchase them. So there's four total pages of this, that's six boxes so I believe you have enough space if you want to do it for about 24 people and some people get pretty giving around this time of year so I think it's perfect especially again if you do co-workers and things like that it's perfect for that or if you have a lot of kids or family members you never know so on the next page is the holiday shopping list I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit more I have this cute little saying on there it says making a list and checking it twice and this is just basically another list for you to jot down everybody. You can jot down all of your people that you need to purchase your gifts for. And then when you go out to go shopping, it'll be a great way for you to reference it. You can put anything in there from like people's sizes so you can remember what size you need to buy of something. Or if you can't remember the name of something, you can write it down in that place and you can take just this one piece with you when you actually go shopping. So it's perfect. All right, let's see. On the back we have our sales and codes and I really like this page because I love Black Friday shopping online and especially on Etsy and so this is perfect to be able to jot down all of the codes that you get as you know different shops start promoting it and um, you can write them all down in one place if you know of a store that's going to be having a sale but maybe it's only at a certain time or if there's a certain item you know will be at a certain time this is really the place for you to get organized it can be for Black Friday but literally it's just any sales or different types of codes that you want to remember so that you'll be able to go back later and buy things um, so then the next page we have is party planning party planning is specifically for just if you're having any type of event at your house I don't want you to feel like it has to be for this huge shindig it could just be a small get-together of your family on Christmas Day and this is just showing you a place for you to kind of get organized for that so you get a place for your date time and location and you know you may not be having it at your house you may be having it at a hall or a restaurant or anything like that so it's just a place for you to know where everything's at um, I left this box over here for you to get kind of creative I actually do have some stickers that are going to be coming out that fit the horizontal weekly and that box is pretty similar to the size of the horizontal weekly box so you could definitely use one of the stickers to put there as a decoration or any of your own stickers or if you have something really important you need to put there for your party that's perfect for that and then we also have a to-do section over here where you can confirm the date and I'm going to zoom in again hopefully it's a little bit easier to read 
You can confirm the date, send invites, menu decor ideas, finalize your menu, buy party items, buy food items, and confirm your RSVPs. And then I left a ton blank for you so that you can put in the, your own things that you need to do. And then that way you can get really organized for your party coming up. On the back you have a section for your guest list and this is where you can also track your RSVPs as well. And then I have two blank inspiration pages so if you find anything that you like, maybe if you're on Pinterest or if you hear something on the radio or if someone tells you something, this is a place you can kind of jot that down. You can use it as a vision board for decorating your house. Anything you need, this is what the inspiration pages are for. So now we have our menu planning and again, I like this because it's perfect for if you're cooking for the holidays. So whether you're having people over for breakfast or a dinner or if you're having a party earlier in the month or whatever the case, this is kind of a place for you to get organized for that. So you can plan your family meal on these two pages. So the first one breaks it down into four sections, your appetizer, your beverage, your main entrees and your desserts. And then on the back, very same thing, but the boxes are blank. So that allows for you to categorize them the way you want to. If you have two meals to plan for, it also gives you more sections. And I do want to just say, if you feel like any of these pages, you need more of them, definitely feel free to make a copy of them. And then that way you can cut them down and fit inside of your planner. And then you can have four menu planning pages if you need it. And then that way you know that you'll, you won't run out during the holiday season, just in case you're not able to get more shipped out to you. Um, the grocery list is perfect to go right along with your menu planning. You can just write it over here and then you have a section for produce, dairy, beverages, meat, grains, and frozen. And then on the other side, baking, sweets, snacks, cleaning, miscellaneous, and rewards and coupons. And so this is actually really similar to the grocery shopping insert on the shop if you've ever purchased that before the only thing that's different on this one is it says beverages and i believe it says drinks in the other one because usually when you're entertaining you want to get wines and beers and different things like that so i gave you a little bit more room to play around with that the next thing is travel planning and so of course not all of us stay home for the holidays it would be great if i could be going somewhere this year but if you are going somewhere it's the perfect page for you to be able to plan out your departure and arrival for your flights it leaves room for you to write the exact airport you're going to and the time you're going to get there and you also have plenty of lines if you need to jot down any other information like hotel lodging or whatever the case is and then on the back, you have your packing list, which is perfect for you to write down everything you need for your trip. And then lastly, in the back, we're basically done. I have two lined pages for you to just jot down anything. You can use it as a journal for the holidays or whatever to get organized. And then we also have some grid paper as well. And we have two of each of those. So basically, you get four of each. You get lined paper and you get grid paper. And that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed watching the video for the Holiday Insert Pack. And again, it'll be in the shop Friday, November 4th. And I'm so excited for you to use it and get your hands on it and get organized for the holidays. I can't wait to share on Instagram and on my Etsy shop how I'm using the Holiday Insert Pack. And I definitely will let you know. Have a great day and thanks for watching.